296. To London. Play a London Crusher. This takes. <laughs> Here comes knight b5. Or knight e2. Knight b5, okay, London Crusher. 9,000 on the board. Come take our rook, please. Okay, e takes b4, we still play e5. Trying to come out bishop b4, check a killer check on this diagonal. They take this pawn, it's so hard to block this check. You'll note, even if bishop d2 is available here, it forces king takes. Because the queen, the queen is busy guarding this rook. c3 is possible, the knight's still hanging around. It hasn't gone here yet, but it wouldn't have been pretty. King has to step up regardless. Now it's up to me to remember my own theory, actually. Any bishop move hits this knight now with this blocked. I am leaning towards castle or an ac6, but there is rook b1 coming. So another idea I have is knight coming to check. But I don't think... What was my own idea? Let's go with AC6 or castles. I think AC6, actually, because rook b1, I actually don't want to hang this bishop, right? I want to, that to be defended. You can come take this rook. You can come take this rook. I'll just take that tempo, bring in this other rook, and get you here. Yeah. I think this is right. I think it was AC6. So here they come taking my rook. So here's an interesting line. What if I take this bishop? Let's say pawn takes. Queen takes check. These are the only legal moves after which you must be mated. Other idea which is also appealing is rook e8. I'm trying to go rook takes e5. Or knight takes d4. Rook e8. Let's say knight f3 protects a couple things. Knight e5, my other concern is rook b1, queen c3, rook b3 here. This is probably right. So takes, I got queen takes e5. So I imagine rook b1, but then queen c3, I'm still tethered to this. I also, I, I probably had a few good ideas here. Like knight coming to c3 doesn't have a obvious way to stop that, like let's say d5. That's a very strong idea as well. But I just grabbed this, okay, here's rook b1. I had another crazy idea, which is rook e8 takes, can I mate him? Some knight move, king f3, probably not quite. So let's go queen c3. So takes, I still can go queen takes. Rook b3, I can see 4. So he takes rook, takes b4. Now I could recapture, takes, checking there. I'm looking, I like this rook e8 though. This might just be killer. I'm down so much stuff at this point. I'm down, okay, I'm actually only down a full rook. But I do have this knight hanging, but that would be mate. I think we, because king stepping up is just so bad. It's just so bad. Like, like you can't block, you can't shield this. It blocks everything in. But just any hit on this king, like, you could just be mated. Like, if the king's on e1, you know, you can use this square to block. What's up, hardest quotes? This is killing. Like, like how do you... I think it might just be winning. Like, take, that's going to be mate. Or rook e4 mate. And any other move, just knight move, that's still mate. I think we got him. F3, you can create a square. No, you can't. Knight check. Yep. That's literally me. Yeah, wow, got him. That was a nice London Crusher 9000. Let's have a look at that. You just got blocked from someone else's stream. Okay, well, welcome here. Wow, my opponent did not have a high accuracy for being such a strong player. That That's what happens when you play these crazy gambits. It's hard to, it's hard to find all the right things. It's very hard. Metal Eagle, how you doing? We just got him in the London Crusher 9000, baby. So here is the London Crusher. We strike with c5, e3. They protect here. 
looking like they're still going to get their solid London, all their setup. But queen b6, we're immediately attacking the one thing that's unprotected. You know, when you develop the bishop, that's unprotected. So this is theory, knight c3 takes, and knight b5. And now the overwhelmingly main line here is knight d5, which um, doesn't lose a rook, because it guards the square on c7. And white here has a couple of options, including actually just drawing the game with a re repetition. But there, but there, there's a bunch of other theory here. But the London Crusher 9000 is going CD4. Of course, the engine's not a fan, but this is a very, very interesting move. If they just take your rook, they lose because of this great idea. And the great thing about the London Crusher also, in addition to the high frequency that you can get it with, uh, and in addition to the fact that if they play all the uh, obvious moves, they just lose. But it's just so easy to remember what to do. Like, you play CD4, and you're really just trying to play E5. You're trying to play E5 because of tempo on the bishop, and because bishop B4 check is a brutal check, and their king is just in a bad situation there every time. You know, they've developed the bishop, they developed the knight, nothing else really blocks this diagonal. For example, here, knight C7 check, knight A8, E5, I can't tell you how many times I've gotten this line where bishop B4 check, and again, even if the, they had bishop D2 here, it still forces king takes D2, like the queen needs to defend the rook, as I said. And king e2 here, d3 check. And this is just very, very good d3 check. Uh, to take this way this is very, very good for, for black. Because even if you're not checkmating them, and often you are with, like, bishop here. Uh, but even if you're not, you got a bishop, and then that knight you can take literally any time. So that's already two pieces for the rook. So it's 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 really it's really quite an effective line. Uh, so my opponent here plays pawn, takes d4, which is fine. But now e5 anyway, here comes bishop b4. And if you really, really want to know what to do, the very, very hard move to find that, that um, and it's just unbelievably rare, although it's been played against me a couple times in Title Tuesday, is Bishop D2. Uh, it's just because this check is so good. So you you have to take and then use that opening to shield this diagonal, after which an AC7 is a legitimate threat. And Black here has to know what they're doing. Covered in my London Crusher uh, videos. But here my opponent played Bishop takes E5, and now Bishop B4 check comes very, very strong. C3, it's not very helpful. This knight could take back, but still king e2 is forced. Queen d2 not possible, because that rook needs to be protected. So king e2, and at this point, actually, black's just up a pawn. I, I, I didn't gambit anything. And their king's here, so here comes bishop a6 and rook e8 and all that. So, in the game, king e2 up. And let's see if I did the right thing. I did. Look at that. So it's equal here, but I can't imagine anybody would want to play this with white. And I played here in ac6. So the two other ideas here are knight d5 and knight e4, trying to look at this square. But basically, you know, if you just do nothing, rook b1 actually can pick up this bishop. So that's a little bit dangerous, because the queen knight here has to take a2. So that's why um, knight c6 I played to protect this bishop in case of rook b1, I can just take this pawn. So in the game, though, my opponent plays check, going after this rook. Got a little bit greedy. You can see that eval spike through the roof now. Knight takes e5 is correct. Knight takes e5, rook e8 are the top two moves. You just need to do them in whatever order. I spent a lot of time deciding which one was best. Um, but you can see that overwhelming eval here. Knight takes e5. And white's pieces suck. Look at this. They're all here. None of them are going to end, end here, right? Like, they're up in exchange at this exact moment. But how dreadful are these pieces? So the issue is if you take this, queen takes e5, and we're talking about mate in three. Here, that's checkmate. King f3. We got we got a couple ways to do this. Check. This is this is mate. It's like you got nothing to block. This is literally checkmate. <laughs> this is literally checkmate. You just got nothing to block with. Uh here, check and mate. So <laughs> I mean, it's just white's pieces don't cover any squares, can't block, can't help their king, even in the slightest. So really, just a complete disaster for white here. And rook e8 is just coming to end the game, and white here can resign already, pretty much. In the game, though, my opponent plays rook b1. Queen c3, just gotta, gotta stay tethered to recapture on e5, because if I don't, I actually am down material here, although still overwhelming compensation. Um, but queen c3, my opponent tr tries here with rook takes b4. Rook b3 was also a try in one of the recommendations of the engine. But the issue here is check. Again, king literally has no legal moves. It literally has no legal moves. So, like, rook's got a block and then takes. And rook e8 is just going to be the death knell. Um, so rook takes b4, getting rid of the bishop. But I've got plenty of other good pieces, including this rook coming into the game. So when they played here in ac7, I was mentioning this in the game. I had this, uh, I, I am able to play king d8. So they spend that tempo coming to take my rook, but it really just invites this rook to kill them. It was a pretty prescient prediction. I learned that word recently. Prescient means, like, you predicted it well. 
Uh, so yeah, mate, mate coming next move, knight to e g4, and we got him. That's literally checkmate on the 13th move of the game against the 2300. So subscribe if that one goes on YouTube. All right. Titled Tuesday is starting very shortly.